Imagine a taxi driver in Paris, in France, putting 500,000 kilometers on a Kia e Niro from 2019 without swapping the battery once. Original battery, original motor. It's an interesting story, worthy of a video, because it didn't take him very long to do it either. Hundreds of kilometers every single day. So it's a real world test of the Kia e Niro. Uh, he's a taxi driver or VTC driver in Paris. So you can basically call him up. He'll pick you up and take you somewhere. So he's a taxi driver, but also a VTC driver. So it's not lab conditions. It's just a real world test. And um, a couple of things to note here. So in Paris, it's very difficult to drive in, even for a seasoned driver. I was there last year. I rented one of the little mopeds that you can drive a ride in the city ended up taking a wrong turn and driving down a motorway at 45 kilometers per hour full speed in you know on the outskirts of paris for 40 minutes in the rain in winter at night completely numb hands and it was it was tragic i just felt like an absolute plonker this is relevant as well so i also saw somebody parking a car a swanky car in a gap and they were pushing the car in front and behind to widen the gap so they could fit in it. They were literally pushing it, pushing them with their car bumpers. So this guy is a brave chap. And I think it's possibly more impressive that it actually survived 500,000 kilometers of Parisian driving than the fact that it's still going on the original running gear, I think. Hello folks, thank you for tuning in. My name is Ben Alexander. I really appreciate your time. At the end of the video, I wanted to talk to you for a minute about the channel and uh, how you're very welcome to become a free member on Patreon uh, or on YouTube as well. And uh, yeah, it's just a brief minute at the end of the video. So there's a channel called Kia e Nero Diaries, which brought this to my attention. Really interesting channel. You should go check it out. A Parisian chap called Jean, I think you say, uh, or Jean in English, uh, who used to be a math teacher until six years ago. And then he became a VTC driver in France and in February 2019 he bought a Kia e Niro. I don't know if it was brand new or not maybe it was pretty much brand new could have been six months old I don't really know and he said he uses on average 13.7 kilowatt hours of electric per 100 kilometers he does three to five hundred kilometers per day he had solar panels installed at home so they could charge it be a bit cheaper and we can say that at this point after half a million you know kilometers that was a very good idea to get solar panels and can you imagine how much he saved? A lot of money, I'm sure. Even though Paris isn't the most sunny place on earth, it would have saved him thousands and thousands of dollars. He currently gets 450 to 500 kilometers on a full charge when it's 100% to dead. And uh, he does that every night, he charges to 100%. And also a second Kia e Niro in France, a taxi company uh, in Northern France run by a chap called Bruno decided five years ago to get a couple of EVs, or I think two e Niro's and two ID3s, Volkswagens. They've also got one that's driven by this lady who is a taxi driver, and she's driven it from 100,000 kilometers. And she has now crossed over 500,000 kilometers in it. And that's the same sort of car. There's a website called Automobile Prop. They did an article about the lady who is the driver of one of the e Niro's who is doing the same sort of mileage as the Parisian taxi driver guy. So they've both crossed over half a million officially, both of them. So I did some rough maths on this just for fun, really. I quickly Googled some of the numbers for electricity. In Paris, the off-peak price for electricity is 15 cents. If he charged 100% of the time at home and he managed to somehow swindle it so that he only paid the cheapest price with no solar panels and averaged what he says he averages so 13.7 kilowatt hours per hundred he likely paid 10,300 euro but that's obviously not realistic but that's the that's really cheap so imagine it's more expensive and he didn't get the the off-peak price double it that's 20,000 euro that's really really cheap that's still a bargain really so whichever way you look at it he's got solar panels whatever he paid there 10 to 20,000 minus whatever the solar panels do that's very cheap isn't it for uh you know half a million kilometers so the car he drives is the 64 kilowatt hour version with 200 horsepower i think 204 455 kilometers wltp 1100 charge cycles roughly at this point so i don't know the service history in his car in uh in paris but i'm guessing he changed the reduction gear oil a few times as he probably should have. If you drive normally and you don't take advantage of the fact that it's an electric car with 200 horsepower, the tires really should last you tens of thousands of kilometers easily. 
And, uh, you know, because electric cars really don't chew up the tyres, generally speaking, if you drive normally. And uh, we're starting to see a similar story with BYDs in Brazil, where they're getting over 200, 230,000 kilometres with zero issues. And uh, that's kind of what we can expect. If you, if you buy a well-made electric car, it should really last hundreds of thousands of kilometres. So you can join the channel on YouTube on the members section. I think there are two tariffs. Only a couple of dollars each a month. You get some benefits. But also on Patreon. Uh, the links will all be in the description as well, by the way. So you can join on Patreon where there's a free tier and a couple of other tiers for a couple of dollars a month. And uh, I post live videos and longer videos. I really want to. If I get enough members on YouTube and Patreon to do... I want to do some monthly deep dives. You know, 30, 40, 50, 60 minute deep dive videos. But they just take a lot more time. So you don't have to pay you can literally join for free if you want to and uh that's the kind of community hub from now on also thank you to andrew mills keith chapel uh, alice nichols alice feckham and wally uh, for joining